What's going on guys, Danny AR10 here and I have here a uh, phone review for you guys and this is the Nokia Lumia 900 just released on AT&T first 4G LTE uh, Windows you know Windows phone uh, to be to hit the market and I picked it up actually pre-ordered it on AT&T.com and you get it on the 6th instead of the 8th which is the release day the actual street date is the 8th but since everything's closed on Sunday everything doesn't come out uh, until actually the 9th you won't get it until actually the 9th so you get it three days early actually if you pre-order online I've been you know this is not my first Windows Phone 7 you guys seen in the past I've done my HTC Titan review uh, I owned the Samsung Focus S for a few weeks and played with that as well so I really like the Windows Phone 7 operating system uh, it's a different change of pace for those who are kind of tired of the you know the old iOS operating system uh, and those who are really not into the whole Android thing uh, so I've been playing around with this now for a couple days, and you know, for the most part, I'm pretty impressed. But there are some uh, things that I really d dislike that may affect your purchase as well. Uh, this is a very unbiased review. I went ahead and purchased this on my own. You know, it wasn't sent to me at all. Uh, so let's go ahead and just dig right into it. This is the uh, cyan version. It is available in cyan and in black. It will be available on April 22nd in white as well. And it'll run you $99 on a contract uh, or an upgrade. Uh, you can also pick it up, I believe, on Amazon for $49.99 if you're a new AT&T customer. Uh, aside from that, the basic specs has a 1.4 gigahertz Snapdragon processor, single core. Uh, Windows Phone, as you may know, does not allow right now for multi-cores, uh, as well as only 720p video recording uh, because it is a single core processor. It does have a Carl Zeiss. Uh, 8 megapixel lens well, it's pretty good quality but I'll get into more in the camera as, as well as the uh, front facing camera a little bit later uh, it does have a dual LED flash very nice body very nice built quality uh, very heavy uh, but it feels very sturdy in the hands you know all polycarbonate meaning uh, it's almost like a brick you scratch into it you won't really get any other color you just get more blue you'll just get you know deeper and deeper into the actual polycarbonate frame you have here on the right hand side, excuse me, you're looking at directly as the right hand side, uh, you have your camera button here at the bottom, you have your power button in the middle, and your volume rockers at the top. You have your SIM card slot, your micro USB, your secondary uh, microphone jack, and you have your headset jack. Nothing on the bottom except your speaker grill, and nothing on the left hand side. As you can see right here, it does feature a 4.3 inch uh, Super AMOLED clear black display. Uh, out of all the Windows phones that I've used, I mean, and every other screen that's not a Retina display screen, aside from the Galaxy Note, uh, this has to be the best quality uh, screen I've used. You know, the blacks are very black and rich. You can't even really tell, you know, where the frame ends, you know, from the sides, from the borders to the actual screen itself, because it's pretty the same color. Uh, I'm going to get into some of the things that I do like first and then some of the things I really dislike right now. Uh, some of the things I do like, of course, is the Windows Phone operating system. Uh, aside from it being very fluid, very fast, uh, Nokia has included you know, quite a few of their own apps that are available on their marketplace. Uh, Nokia Drive, for one, is a free turn-by-turn voice-based GPS application, which is very nice. I have that up here. There it is. Aside from that, you get... Uh, Nokia Maps, which I'm currently not using. I use Google Maps for the time being, which is right there. But uh, the Nokia Maps app is very, also very well done. Aside from that, build quality is excellent. I have to give it an A plus as far as build quality. Uh, you know, it feels very sturdy in the hand. Uh, I have no complaints whatsoever about you know build quality. You feel like you're holding a premium device, even though it's only running you uh, ninety nine dollars. Some of the things I dislike, which I was kind of surprised, uh, you know, when you first get a phone and you hold it, you know, you have that sudden urge that you, you know, you like everything about it. It's a new device. You know, you're inclined to love everything about it and kind of overlook, you know, the small points that, you know, are minor, but, you know, can also lead to uh, more problems down the road. Uh, one of them being the camera itself. You know, Nokia is great for their, you know, popular for their cameras, you know, the N9s had great cameras, the Lumia 800 supposedly had a really great camera uh, but I was very left very you know underwhelmed with the uh, camera for the L Lumia 900 uh, I was hoping that it would not be much of a downgrade from my 4S as far as camera quality 
but that seems to be far from you know true. I took it out for test drive today out on the streets and you know just snapping photos, and it does very very poorly in low light. Uh, whereas you know the iPhone 4s, even with you know minimal low light, still has you know decent picture quality. It's medium to almost poor picture quality when you're in low light situations. Uh, aside from that, in bright lights, it does it handles the rendering very very poorly. Uh, subjects show up very very bright or very very dark with a background. Uh, with the iPhone 4s, you can enable you know HDR, and that uh, compensates and gets rid of a lot of that you know background flare. Uh, that feature is not available on the uh, new Mi 900. So that's a big selling point that they push, but I was left very underwhelmed with the uh, Lumia 900's camera. It shoots very quickly, but quality uh, is a lot to be desired there. Uh, the front-facing camera, which is over here in the top left, can't really see it here, is a 1 uh, megapixel, or 1.4 megapixel, uh, but it does shoot 720. Uh, it's not bad at all. Uh, I was kind of surprised, it may be a glitch right now, but the orientation does not adjust on the front-facing camera. If you're using it uh, you know, to shoot sideways in landscape or portrait, it does not auto-rotate. You, you can only use it in uh, portrait mode, not landscape. So those are some small things. Uh, one of the big concerns that I had was reception. Uh, I don't know, right now, I have about four bars, you can see up there. I'm not in an LTE uh, market, so I'm only 4G, HSPDA. But it, I went out to the mall today and, you know, just walking around with my 4S, uh, you know, with a SIM card installed and then my wife's SIM card installed on the Lumia 900, I usually had at times two to three bars less on the 900 than I did on the 4S. And in some spots, I completely lost reception, uh, where on the 4S, I had one to two strong bars and able to make calls, whereas the Lumia 900 at times would only allow me to make emergency calls. So... Reception, I hopefully will be addressed in an update, but it has very poor uh, reception, uh, which I didn't read any of those reviews, you know, prior to the launch of the phone, uh, but it felt to be mentioned in any of the early reviews so far that I've read. Aside from that, uh, battery life is medium to, you know, slightly above average. Uh, you know, out of basic use today, I woke up about, you know, 10 o'clock a.m. this morning, and it is about, about 6 o'clock almost right now. So, you know, not even half, about half a day, and I'm about, you can see the battery life right there, right below half, I'm at about, you know, I would say close to 20%. So, battery life, uh, it's not, you know, as great as I hoped, but uh, with a single core processor, you would hope that battery life will be better on a device of, uh, of this nature, but uh, it seems to uh, not be the case. So, battery life... Uh, reception and poor camera quality is uh, something right now that may not, you know, steer people towards the Lumia 900. Um, I know as far as being my daily driver, it is not, it's not going to hack it. Uh, what I change from the iPhone 4S to any other device I go to, I, I can't compromise, uh, you know, anything in any area that I can get with my iPhone 4S. So if I'm switching over to a new phone and, you know, trying to get away from the iOS experience, as much as I'm getting tired of the iOS, uh, the new phone that I'm using has to be able to do what my 4S does as good. I'm not asking it to be better, but it needs to be as good as what my 4S can do. I don't want to lose any features. You know, the live tiles are nice. You know, the Xbox Live apps. You know, most of the apps that are available on iOS are available on Windows Phone 7. At least your productivity apps. Uh, games, not so much. You won't find many. Uh, you know, games worth owning on the Windows Phone marketplace, but you know, aside from that, you know, your basic productivity apps, Pulse, News, ESPN, uh, Facebook, Twitter, you know, YouTube, uh, Spotify, you know, they're all available there to you. But uh, those are some of the big cons, and, you know, in my eyes right now, the, ca the cons uh, outweigh the plus, and I'll probably be trying another phone. Uh, I'm going to stick with my iPhone 4S for the time being. I uh, will give the HTC Titan 2 a shot, because I'm not totally giving up on Windows Phone 7 just yet. But uh, the 900, even though at a 99 price point, it's not a bad price. I'd say if it was, you know, if you can get it for fifty dollars or free uh, with an upgrade, uh, I'd say it'd be worth it. So then again, guys, uh, there's my quick review on the Nokia Lumia 900. Uh, once again, stay tuned. I'll have a uh, review on the HTC Titan 2 coming up relatively soon. And aside from that, 
Thanks for following me, guys. Danny AR10 on Twitter. Danny AR10 on Google Plus as well. Stick with me, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys soon.